Hi and welcome to SQL Server Tanali always on next gen HDR solution. I am Prakash and I work for Intuit as Senior Infrastructure Database Administrator. And this set of videos I will talk about what Tanali always on feature is and how to implement a test virtual lab solution. So here are the set of videos we will configure to implement a test lab using Hyper-V to implement and validate what is availability group, how it works, what failover it allows, and in the end we'll test it with the virtual name. The Nali demo Hyper-V setup, Windows 2000 and R2. The host machine needs to be R2B so that you can install Hyper-V and for this example we will be using three VM, VM1 for domain controller, VM2 as a node 1 and VM3 will be node 2. Uh, look at the IP settings, a uh, pretty simple setting, only one NIC is needed to do whole uh, setup. Um, to, no need to have heartbeat or shared storage in Windows 2008 uh, failover cluster. All right, so let's jump into what's the current Hyper-V setup I have. As here you can see, I have a multiple VMs configured for different multiple nodes and I have this Windows 2008 R2 domain controller. Let's look at the network manager. So there are multiple NICs I configured. These are standard NICs uh, which I use in all my setups to evaluate multiple scenarios. Uh, for this test setup, we will be we use domain NIC, which is a private virtual net machine network. And I'm using wireless hyper uh, NIC. Uh, this is just a uh, internal NIC and I'm using it to share the wireless internet from my laptop. Another NIC I'm using is RDP NIC and this demo where it's internal only. Uh, internal only NICs are the ones where host machine can see your virtual machines and thus uh, for all the RDP sessions I use this NIC and configure a static IP. Wired HyperNIC is uh, a direct attached to your wireless wired card and that way if you have a wired network connected all machines can get their own DHCP address if needed. Alright so that concludes the network setup I'll see you in next video where we will configure uh, the, the domain controller.